Good morning, everybody. It's 8.32 and it's Monday. Heading to work. Yeah. Um, so I was thinking, you know, this new schedule, like it's awesome and I love it. And this is the schedule that I've wanted, like honestly, since I started working there. Well, outside of, you know, eventually hoping to get Sunday off. Um, but that's not gonna happen anytime soon because everything in my work is seniority based. And I'm still sort of like in the middle of the pack as far as that goes. So it'll be a long time before that happens, at least a few more years at the very least. Uh, but in the meantime, like this is the schedule that I wanted. You know, I wanted to have Thursday, Friday, Saturday off three days straight. The split schedule was amazing. And I loved it for the time that I had it because, you know, you work two days and then, and then you're off. So that's cool. Um, you know, like for instance, like a week ago today, you know, it's Monday. So it's like, cool, I'm going to work, but I'm off tomorrow. Awesome. Not this week, however, and for the foreseeable future, because now I'm going to work tomorrow. However, come Wednesday, and Wednesday is one of our easier, lighter days at work, come Wednesday, I'll be pretty excited even just to be at work because I'll be like, yay, it's my Friday again, and I have three days off now, so that's fun. So yeah, looking forward to that. The only real downside to the new schedule is you know making these videos that's really it you know before with my split schedule i could put out a video on tuesday and then also some videos you know towards the end of the week so i'd put out at least two videos a week you know sometimes three and so on but now it's like i'm gonna try this video a day thing for this week see how it goes but it's like the first four days it's just gonna be me going to work and coming home well not even just coming home because that's really gonna be sunday because sunday I generally get off at 6.30, depends on if we're understaffed or if, you know, we're a little behind, so I gotta stay late. It all depends. Um, but generally I'll be off at 6.30, so there's still an opportunity for things to happen at the end of the day. Uh, today, I start at 10. Now, I won't be off, you know, earliest I'll be off will be 8.30. So it's already gonna be dark when I get off work. So, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna really be filming anything on the way home, because you're not gonna be able to see anything. And then of course on, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, I start at noon, I don't get off work the earliest, you know, 10.30. So definitely not gonna be filming anything on the way home then. And especially not when I get home because I'll be going right to bed. Well, maybe not on Wednesday, I won't be going right to bed because I'll be out for three days after that, yay. We'll see how this video a day thing goes. I mean, I don't know, it's just, I wanna post more. Like I always wanna be posting videos, it's fun for me. Um, but it's gonna be difficult because, you know, four straight days of just going to work and coming home without anything really else exciting going on. You know, I don't know who's gonna to wanna to watch all that, you know, unless I have something extremely like awesome to talk about and something to discuss and some fun topics. Yeah, you know, I don't know. So I guess that's, it all comes down to what I can come up with to stay entertaining on the days that I'm just, you know, in the car driving, so. <laughs> You know, I'll work on that. I'll try to figure something out. I'll do my homework. You know, we'll talk about current events or something. I don't know. I don't watch the news, personally. Uh, the news is super depressing to me. It's all just bad news. There's never anything like, oh, look what this person did, and it's super awesome. No, it's always like, what, look what this person did, and oh, look at all the people that died because of it. So yeah, I don't watch the news. Uh, so maybe I'm not really up to date on a lot of the current events. You know, I watch sports. I know what's going on in baseball. Um, yeah, so that's fun. But yeah, I, guess, I don't know, I guess that just falls in line more with just wanting to be positive and keep a positive mind and a positive heart. Try to stay away from the news because it sucks and it brings me down, it makes me sad, and I don't want that. Onwards and upwards, you know? I'm trying to move into a more positive mindset every day. And I'm not necessarily a negative person, I'm just not, but you know, as I've said in the past, you know, the, the first two months of this year were fantastic. Two of the best months of my life, hands down, like amazing. And then literally it was like, like exactly two months. And then after that two months, it's like, man, things just went in complete reverse. And things have been a bit of a struggle, you know, mentally trying to stay positive and upbeat and moving forward. And it's just, it's not easy. But I'm doing the best I can and I feel myself getting better and more positive every day. 
Uh, these videos help me, as I've said before, you know, the therapeutic for me is something fun, something for me to look forward to, something for me to work on, and, you know, so it's fun. So thank you to all of you, any of you that are watching. I know it's not many at this point. It's still early in this whole YouTube channel, you know, hopefully it'll gain some steam. You know, I think I have seven subscribers right now, and for all seven of you, thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. Um... So yeah, hopefully you guys are watching, <laughs> and uh, you know, if if you're starting to watch these videos, like if you're watching this one for instance, get in on the ground floor, get in now, because I'm not going to stop this train, this train's going to keep on rolling, and who knows what this channel's going to be like in say, two, three, four, five years, if it goes that long, I hope so, I'm going to try to just keep filming for the rest of my life, who knows, but uh, yeah, get in on the ground floor, join me now. Let's go on this journey of life together. Let's keep each other positive and upbeat and looking forward to the next fun thing we can do. Or, you know, getting through, you know, struggles that we all might be having. Let's do this together, you know? It's a team effort. Let's do it. Uh, so, yeah. Obviously driving to work. It's kind of cool today. It is cloudy. Which is kind of nice because in my job that'll hopefully cool it down a little bit. It's still going to be super hot in there. I know it. But at least it's not summertime quite yet because then my job is just like unbearably wow sweltering inside that building and uh yeah not looking forward to that necessarily lose a lot of weight because you sweat a lot and so yeah i need to be getting back into the gym i, I kind of put it all on the back burner with you know, a few weeks ago I was sick, so I didn't go to the gym, and then immediately following that I had my hip injury, so it's like, I put the gym off just because, you know, I don't want to do too much. Even upper body, like, I don't want any reason to re-injure my hip because I can't be missing any more work. Not that I really missed any work when I had my hip injury, I was going to my, you know, restricted duty. But the restricted duty doesn't, you know, it only pays like 66% of your normal pay, and that doesn't pay the bills. Uh, I need to have 100% of my normal pay, <laughs> so I got to stay healthy. So I do want to get back in the gym, though. I'm going to do that very soon. I'm feeling good now. My hip is feeling better every day. There's still some times when it's kind of like, ah, careful, careful, but it's getting better. It's improving, so that's the positive thing. It is getting better. It's not getting worse, so all is well on that front. So yeah, I'll get back in the gym and be ready to go for this summertime and also for my vacation because last year I took my two weeks vacation I came back to work and it was like that same week I ended up going out with a back strain uh, and it's crazy because I remember my first day back from those two weeks off I was so exhausted that one day like wow like I had never been that tired even when I first started working there I don't remember being that tired it was crazy and then a couple days later hurt my back and it was just actually I think it was like the following week like the first I came back on a Sunday, I think it was the following Sundays when I hurt my back, and it was, whew, it was rough. And the thing is, it wasn't like on my vacation, I was just sitting at home doing nothing. Like, that wasn't the case. I maybe did that maybe two days out of the whole two weeks that I had off, where I just kind of sat around the house and maybe watched some movies or something and just relaxed, which I'll probably do that again, you know, this vacation. I'll take, you know, a day or two, maybe, you know, two, three, four days, who knows, of just relaxation because I just need it. I need to rejuvenate. But I know like the first week, we're gonna be going to San Diego for the All-Star Week for baseball. So that's gonna be awesome. And then that second week, I'm not really sure yet what's going on. I'm still gonna to wanna to get out and about. I'm going to go to Disneyland for sure. Um, I don't know what else. Maybe get out to LA. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna figure that out still. But the main thing to this year, for my two weeks off, I'm gonna be going to the gym hopefully every day. If not every other day. I'm gonna be lifting weights and I'm definitely gonna be getting some cardio in because that's the biggest part is keeping my cardio up so then when I come back to work after those two weeks I'm feeling strong still I don't feel like I missed a beat I can keep moving my cardio will be good uh, you know I'm not gonna be worrying about back injuries again because I'll be lifting so that's the plan this year so last year was definitely a learning experience and last year was fun like I didn't go to like San Diego or do anything super extravagant but it was fun you know I got out and about and did a lot of fun things uh but yeah i'm looking forward to that that's like two months from now so that'll be cool and i'm actually already planning my vacation for next year so fingers crossed that one works out 
Now that one, you know, I, I was going to do like a teaser for it, but it's like, it's a year from now because I want to plan it around my birthday next year. <clears throat> that's usually when I try to plan my vacations around my birthday, which was, you know, this past Saturday, May 14th. Um, so that's when I, you know, the only reason I planned it in July this year is because of the All-Star game uh, down in San Diego. Like, that was the whole, you know, purpose of planning it in July so I could go and take part in those festivities down there. But, uh, you know, next year, I'm going to plan it again in May, mid-May, for my birthday. And the plan is this time to get out to Orlando, Florida to go see the Disney parks. I've already been looking at, you know, package deals, you know, that include tickets and hotel stay and all that good stuff. But I need to look a little bit deeper because the one that I found, at least on the Disney website, you know, it's just, you know, it's hotel and then it's also, uh, you know, tickets to all four parks. Well, I want to find one that also includes like, you know, airfare, like that would be cool. So I probably need to go to like a travel agent or something like that. Like if any of you out there have any recommendations as far as, far as uh, you know, package deals, going to Florida and going to the Disney parks, or, you know, a good travel agent that I could go through, you know, anything like that. If you have any kind of tips, anything at all, please leave it in the comments below. Let me know about it. I would love to know. I know it's a year from now, uh, but I'd rather just be planning it now so, you know, this, that time doesn't come and I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? So let me know, comments below travel agents, package deals, anything at all. Information is great. Knowledge is power. Thank you for that. Uh, so yeah, still heading to work. Should be a good day. So anyway, I'm almost to work now. Hopefully it's a wonderful day. Hope you guys have an amazing week this week. Today's Monday. Make it a beautiful week. Stay positive. Keep your heads up. You know, if you're going through a bad time and things are a struggle right now, things are going to get better, I promise you. And, you know, just stay patient. You're going to get there. Trust me. But that's pretty much it for me today. Uh, yeah. Should be a good one. It's Monday. Yay for that. So, we're getting there. Anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Keep your heads up. Like I said, never give in, never give up. You know the story. Anyways, guys, love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.